after Monmouth's 66-51 win at the TD Bank Sports Center. It's the first time the program has won in this facility on campus at Quinnipiac. I'm here with a gentleman that had quite a day, Danny Pilari. From Danny, the sophomore from Shore Regional. But listen, let's start with this. Take me through your day. It started on ESPN at 9 a.m. Then about 9 p.m. you check into the game down here. <laughs> Take us through this whirlwind day for you. Um, honestly, it was unbelievable. Uh, I couldn't even describe how it went. Um, we met so many of the great people at ESPN and, and Sports Center, and being on the show was just, I was awestruck. I was on cameras everywhere, was beautiful studios and stuff. And then to be able to say, like, oh, I got a game later, it kind of felt like AAU, where we pull up in a random car. I'm not with the team <laughs> on a bus. I just pull up in a random car, you know, a Badger, and um, we come up and uh, play the game. But that it, it was the whole day. I got to, like, sit down and think about it. Well, it's probably going to take a while to do that because of all the great stuff that happened during the day at ESPN and then the game tonight. But I saw they put you on the spot on live TV this morning. They put you on the spot and said, hey, do a celebration. They had to work yeah. with the anchors. Did you have a, like a momentary like freak out moment? What oh, happened? Uh, well, first off, we got to talk about the anchors are in very, very nice heels, very nice skirts. And I'm like, I, I don't know what celebration to do if you're in really nice heels and skirts. So we're like, uh, and Craig, Greg goes, we'll do the limbo. Like that, that'll be our go to. <laughs> We'll do the limbo, so they went. It's appropriate they're distracting Danny during the interview now, of course. <laughs> I always distract them during the interview, so <laughs> when the roles are reversed, they got they got to distract me. <laughs> well, uh, uh, I'll get you out of here on one last question. Talk about the win, and try to do this with all this chaos happening uh, around I'm me. Good, good. How significant this is for the team, never winning in this building before winning tonight? Um, I think it's just a statement. Um, you know, we really try to prove to everyone this year it's a, it's a whole new team, and, and we're coming out. Um, doing a lot of firsts, um, a lot of non-conference wins with that, and then what really matters is getting business done in the MAC. Um, we have a lot to prove still in the MAC, and coming in here, never winning before, and, and winning this game, it's you know letting people know we're, we're, we mean business. I'll tell you what, that's an amazing job by you straightening out and giving me a great answer right Thank there, you. Danny. Congratulations on the whole day, the win, Sports Center, everything. Thank you so much. You're my favorite. That sophomore Dan Polari, keeping his composure amidst all this chaos. Long day for him, but a great day for the Hawks and a win at Quinnipiac.